my god. What? Oh my god. Hey, it's Kendra and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing three Halloween decoration DIYs for you. They are mostly pretty cheap and pretty simple to do. I've done them all in like about two hours, so it doesn't really take too long. Um, you can get everything at your local craft store probably. And they're just super cute for at this time of year. I know we have about two weeks, two and a half weeks till Halloween, so plenty of time to do them and to have them around your house and all of that. <laughs> But before we get into this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel down below for more videos like these and just to stay up to date with my channel. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so starting off with the banner DIY, you're going to need some felt paper. I did little candy corn colors, so you can do whatever colors you'd like. Um, and I used canvas for the smallest um, triangle. And then you're going to need some stencils. I just measured these out and cut them out on construction paper. It was pretty simple to do. I did five, four, and three inches. You're also going to need a glue gun. And to kind of be the base for everything, I used some twine. Um, you can use any string that you want, but I thought this looked pretty cute and festive. Um, also some ribbon that is like orange and black, just like typical Halloween colors. Um, you are also going to need a paintbrush and some paint that I didn't show. <laughs> um, also some scissors. And you are going to start off by tracing out the triangle on the felt. So this is going to be the biggest one. Um, I found that two sheets of felt of each color was enough. Um, so you'll, you'll probably be fine with that. Um, and this is pretty just self-explanatory. You're going to measure out, or not measure out, you're going to trace the triangles on the felt and then just go ahead and cut them out. Um, in total, I did 10 of these for Hocus Pocus. You can do whatever word you want, but I thought this was pretty cute since Hocus Pocus is actually one of my favorite Halloween movies. But you can do any word that you want or any little saying, just keep it kind of shorter um, so the banner doesn't get too incredibly huge and it doesn't take forever to make. Um, so shorter is probably better. I found using a hot glue gun to glue the felt pieces together was the easiest. I tried using Mod Podge for this um, and fabric glue and it just didn't work as well. Eventually the triangles came apart. so. Hot glue guns are just a sure shot that they're gonna stay together for a long time. So I just went ahead and used that to glue the felt pieces together because I really didn't want them to come apart eventually. Um, and so I know that they're gonna be staying put. Um, just make sure that you do like kind of smash them together for a while and really well until it's dry. You can even roll the twine over it, which I found helped. Um, but to glue the canvas onto the felt, I used Mod Podge and I found that that worked really well. Um, just because sometimes hot glue gun can seep through like thinner fabrics. So using kind of like a thinner glue, I guess you could say, um, was better for the canvas so you have kind of a clean slate when you go to paint on the letters later. And again just make sure that it is stuck down there nice and tight. I also glued on little strips on the back of each triangle to keep them up on the twine. I just thought this was the easiest way to do that. I didn't really want to punch any holes in it because um, I wanted the front to be like whole, if that makes any sense. I didn't want anything covering that. So I found that this was just the easiest and it was pretty quick to do. Um, and it's also really secure, which is super important for this. This may look pretty sketchy, but I literally just use an old command hook container as my like tray for paint because I lost my tray, my paint tray when I moved. So this works just as well and I really don't care if it gets dirty. So that's good. Um, but you can also use like a paper plate if you have one on hand. Um, and now I'm just tracing on the letters lightly with a pencil at first. Um, so the painting can go by more quickly. Um, and sorry, I'm blocking the painting of the letters. I didn't realize that when I was filming. And unfortunately I'm doing that for every single letter. So just use your imagination. Um, I'm literally just painting on letters here. 
pretty self-explanatory. Um, and now I am putting on the triangles onto the twine. Um, measure out how long you think your twine should be first. Um, I didn't do this first time, so make sure it's measured out nicely and that you're gonna have enough twine space to put on the triangles. Also because I did these little ties with this like ribbon, I guess you could call it. Um, it has the metal on the edge so you can kind of form it in any shape that you want, which was really nice. Um, I found that putting the triangles on first and then tying the ribbon on worked best for me. But here it is all finished. I am super happy with how this turned out. I think it's so cute um, and it works really well for the fall and I love the colors. All right, and this next one is literally just so simple. So all you need is a canvas. You can get them really cheap at Michael's, especially if you use like a 40% off coupon. Um, and just paint on a quote that you like from your favorite Halloween movie. I did This Is Halloween um, from The Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas. I actually just watched this for the first time last year, so I hadn't seen it for my whole life, but it's actually really cute and I really enjoyed it. So I decided to do that for this little canvas. This was so simple, it was really cheap, and it took like 10 minutes overall. So, you know, it's a win-win in every situation. After you are finished painting it, you can just hang it up and it looks really cute. I kind of like how messy it looks. Um, I think it looks more like authentic, if that makes sense. And for the third craft, similarly, all you'll need is a big canvas. Um, I am doing the letter wall from Stranger Things. I'm sure as you saw in the intro, you kind of have a gist of what this is gonna be. Um, this was, again, so easy because the letters are supposed to look messy, so you can literally not mess up unless you like forget a letter or something. But even then, it could still work. Definitely felt so strange painting this on so messily. I've never painted without little care in my life, so if that makes any sense. But yeah, so all you're gonna do is just write out the alphabet. I did it in pencil just to make sure that I liked the spacing and everything, and then I just went for it. And then for the lights, I just picked up some twinkling lights at Target, so it kind of looks like they're flashing. Um, if you've seen Stranger Things, then you'll know that, you know, they flash when Will's trying to communicate with his family. So, Honestly, taping up the lights was the most difficult part. Here's my boyfriend helping me because this was so frustrating trying to get it to stay on the canvas. But overall, I think it turned out really cute. And once you kind of get the hang of how to tape them on, um, it goes pretty smoothly. Honestly, this one was so simple, but I think it's my favorite um, just because I love Stranger Things, so I'm kind of geeking out over it a little bit. And it can also kind of work for a Christmas decoration if you want, so it's economical. All right, well, there you have it. Those are the three DIYs that I did for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave in the comments down below which one is your favorite. And let me know if you try any of them. Make sure to tag me on social media. I'll leave all of that in the down bar below and on the screen somewhere. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.